Okay, I'm finally doing a highly requested video on the Picket N4. Um, I recently did a video on Versalog versus Desalon, and a lot of people wanted me to include a Picket slide roll, so I'm doing this N4 video separately. Um, the N4 is an interesting slide roll because it's the high end of Picket's range. Um, it's made through the end of the slide roll era. Um, but it can trace its origin Sorry, trying to get the focus. Can trace its origin back to Pickett's early slide rolls. Um, so Pickett makes a slide roll in the mid 40s called the Model 1 Desi Point slide roll, which is a simplex slide roll that has trig on the bit. Uh, sorry, on the slide. I should say slide. Um, and on the back, it has a lot of decimal point reminders. So. You know, everything is on one side of the slide roll, but on the back are decimal point reminders. Um, they, also in the 40s, make a Model 2 slide roll, which uh, adds log-log scales. Uh, then the Model 3, kind of an evolution through the 2 and the 3, lots of different versions. Um, then they add folded scales, they add um, some other interesting features. Some things are removed, like T2 and then added back. T2 and L, I think, are removed and then added back. Uh, then the, the, but the Model 3 still contains a little bit of space, which is used for um, decimal point reminders. That's finally removed in the Model 4 and filled in with hyperbolic scales. And then the Model 4 is like your kitchen sink, everything in one slide roll, slide roll. Uh, then later, um, Pickett is updating things, they're adding color, they're adding the synchro back-to-back -back scales over the years. Um, they're adding this eye saver yellow color, but by color I meant the red. Um, and eventually the slide roll becomes the N4, which is this slide roll. Uh, it says copyright 1959. I'm not sure if that's exactly the year it first appeared. Uh, this is fairly late, late model one. Has late, late picket label, um, late style cursor, but there are earlier N4s. Uh, but I think they all have the color printing. Uh, this is the eye saver yellow color, uh, but it was also available in white. Uh, has picket's traditional aluminum construction. Uh, Pickett starts out making magnesium slide rolls, but later switches fairly early on to aluminum. Um, has a plastic cursor. Um, has interesting, if you can see here, I'm losing the focus. Uh, there are springs in there which prevent the slide from falling out and put a little tension on it, um, which some people like. Uh, on my particular one, this cursor um, spring needs replacement. This will just kind of slide. Uh, but that's not what it was like originally. Um, okay, so this is a high-end, log-log, hyperbolic, everything slide roll. Um, it, it has picket synchro scales, where the log-log scales are back-to-back. -back. You can read reciprocals directly. So if you were to find on the log-log scale where the 5 is, that's down, way down here, uh, you read directly adjacent to it the point 2. Uh, most log log slide rolls arrange their scales differently, where all the uh, base greater than one log log scales are adjacent, and then all the base between zero and one log log scales are adjacent. I think it takes a different approach to the uh, the arrangement of the log log scales. Um, but uh, what's the most interesting about this slide roll? Uh, well, there's a couple things. One thing which is interesting is that there are no A and B or K scales anywhere on the slide roll. Uh, so this makes it a little different even than a Versalog or a Decelon slide roll. Um, everything is, uh, all your cubes, cube roots, square, square roots are done with these uh, square root scales. Those are the same as your R scales on the Versalog. Can be used for squares and square roots. Uh, for cubes and cube roots, you've got these uh, cube root scales, so there needs to be three of them. Um, just like there needs to be two square root scales. Uh, that's one long triple length logarithmic scale split into three, so it fits on the slide roll. Okay, uh, you have a T2 scale here, so you have a little bit more trigonometry than on some slide rolls. It would beat the uh, Versalog and Decelon on trigonometry by including that T2 scale. Uh, but otherwise you have fairly standard scales. You have the folded scales in here. Pickett puts a lot of scales uh, close together, so you've got the folded scales with the trigonometric scales. Can you imagine that? Um, all on the slide on this one side. Includes the DI scale. Um, on this side, since they've got so much uh, space to cram things in there, the way they're able to cram things in there is that these scales are not engraved. They're put on by a photographic process. 
Um, I, I don't particularly like how Pickett squeezes everything on like that. I think it's a little bit hard to use. But on this side, you've got these interesting DF over M and CF over M scales. I'll discuss those in a minute. And then this LN scale. Um, these three scales are added to make this what uh, Pickett calls a dual base slide roll. Um, the LN scale is uh, kind of a boring scale. What it is is it's an L scale um, except for natural logs. So you read the natural log off of it instead of the base 10 log. Um, I think that that's kind of a boring scale. It's actually added fairly late um, in the game for Pickett. Uh, the interesting scales though are DF over M and CF over M. They're, they're interesting for the following reason. So Pickett has uh, folded the uh, log log scales at um, a different way than the standard log log scales. Let, let's put it this way. So the regular log log scales um, they're constructed by taking um, a base 10 log and a natural log. These log log scales are constructed by taking a base 10 log and then a base 10 log. So if you if you look at the ends, uh, you see 10. You see 10 there on the last log log scale. That's because the log of 10 should be 1. And so what reads on D is the base 10 log instead of the base E log. So on most slide rolls you will see E there uh, because natural log of E should be 1. So when you set a number on the log log scales on the N4, it reads the base 10 log. Now the interesting thing is that, that th these scales are actually the same scales, even though we just pointed out a difference, as normal log log scales. Uh, if you think of it this way, normally we think of the log log scales as one long scale. The scale here is actually the same scale. In fact, if you were to look at the the divisions and the length between numbers, you would see it's the same as it is on any other log log slide roll, which is key to C and D. Um, but you would see that they are they are slid, they are folded, okay. Um, and what happens is they're folded kind of to the left, and so Pickett gets some additional range here, which you don't get on a regular log log slide roll. Normally, uh, you would end here at around twenty thousand. Some with extended scales go out a little farther. But Pickett gets several additional orders of magnitude here, on which you can really read about one significant figure. Okay, but it could, could be useful for large numbers. Um, at the expense of the other end, the other end, the log log scales only go down to about 1.025 instead of, say, on a verse log, 1.001. .001. Now, you would think that's a downside, but it's just low enough where a good approximation kicks in. So on a normal log log slide roll, you know if you go off the left end, you can start reading those numbers on D. Yeah, you remove the one. Um, but you can see that doesn't work here, right? So on, on say the verse log, if you set 1.0025, you would be close to the 2.5 mark. And so this is about how much the slide roll has been fold the, the log log scales have been folded. So what Pickett does is they include specialty folded C and D scales, which are folded by the correct amount. So look at DF over M. Ah, there's 2.5. So that same approximation, I have a video on it, which you use when you fall off the end of the log log scales on a normal slide roll is done with the normal C or D scale. Pickett adds the CF over M, DF over M scales so that you can still do that on the N4. Okay, so if you wanted to say do 1.001, uh, you would use the 1 here on df over m to find the correct place, and so on. Uh, that approximation gets better as you get closer to 1, and 1.0025 is close enough that it uh, works pretty well. Okay, now the other advantage, uh, the, well, the other thing you get with cf over m and df over m is the following. On a normal log log slide roll, um, if you set a number on, on the log log scales, let's say set 7, you would read the natural log on D. Uh, we've already discussed here you're going to read the base 10 log about uh, 0.8, maybe 4 or 5. Uh, the idea is that the folding DF over M, CF over M are folded by the factor that you need to convert that to a natural log. So if you read on DF over M about 1.95 or so, um, that number is actually the natural log of 7. Um, so those those also allow you to quickly read natural logs using the log log scales 
because you've lost that ability because of how you folded them. Now, they have the advantage of quick reading of base 10 logs on the log log scales. Okay. Overall, I like the N4. Um, it's an interesting, it's a different slide roll. I like it more than the N3, which kind of reverts to some of the, uh, the standard slide roll features. I like the N4 because it's unique, even though I don't like picket slide rolls in general. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Have a great day.